just like introduction. Yeah, yeah. I'm Joe Lowry. I was um, Green Beret with the 7th Special Forces Group. I was injured in Afghanistan, taking a PCAM round to my helmet in 2014. Sustained a major trauma to my right hemisphere of my brain. Put me in a month long coma. Was given 11% chance of surviving. Came out of my coma, began my rehab process at Palo Alto VA at the Poly Trauma Center up there in Northern California. I was introduced to Katsu through uh, John Doolittle and the SOCOM. Yeah, he worked for SOCOM Care Coalition, which I met Stephen Monutonis, the CEO of uh, Katsu Global, and they have been a great organization for my enhancing my rehab. I call it steroids for my rehab and process. And I mean, sleep is a major, and that's another thing uh, I always preach to people about. I'm like, it's something we can control. And it's helped with my sleep tremendously. And there's been other Katsu user that has noted that to me. He's like, Joe, do you notice your sleep better when you use Katsu? And I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely. And for me, I have spastic tone due to the neurological damage. And not to go into too much detail, but it helps reduce that, which is a huge benefit for me. And my inability to do the things that I used to be able to do is part of my PTSD diagnosed through the DSM, which is their diagnostic manual that they use. And it's just helped me regain some of my mobility back, which is a huge overall improvement in my life. As a military serviceman, I'm a big fan of their equipment and I promote it through my nonprofit and I'm like hey look this is the companies that are helping out veterans and it's like they deserve the props where you know there are other companies don't do this you know I'm like this equipment is expensive and this company provides it to me completely free of charge that's what I'm here today to swap out my equipment because I had a damaged piece of equipment and you know no charge just meet up at the VA here in Long Beach with Steven here and yeah. it's the man yeah. and uh, you're how many steps do you walk a day now well I mean I don't track it because I don't yeah. have a oh, track. Tra okay. fitness tracker anymore but my PT who I'm seeing here has got me she's like you walk I mean 800 I think she said 800 yards or something like that and she smokes the hell out of me and then you're driving now too, yes. right? Yes. Oh, that's so And good. that's how I began my rehab process here at the VA Long Beach with that goal of overcoming, because they have a blind rehab center here. Yeah. And I was technically blind on my left side due to the right hemisphere damage and started my vision rehab here at their program and gained my, and my vision therapist is like, you know, I'll keep you in therapy, but I don't see any reason really you've overcome your neglect yeah. because I'm driving. And then you use it twice a day, correct? Yes, I do it passively as it's called, I guess. Meaning I just do a cool down while I'm reading at nighttime, getting ready to sleep. And then I do walking with it on in the morning and then my arm training in the morning too. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Joe. No, absolutely. That's great. Thank you guys for all that you do.